joined now by Zach Frazier. Questions for Zach? Go ahead, Greg. So, Zach, true freshmen playing offensive line are rare, really rare at West Virginia. Did you and your wildest dreams think that you would be a starter this early? And then what's the transition been like? Um, I mean, it, it was my goal coming in. But, uh, you know, even in camp, I didn't know if it was going to happen. And, uh, you know, I just got an opportunity and uh, I kind of, you know, went with it. John Antonic. Did um, being around Darius and Dante maybe help you uh, feel like, yeah, I can, I can handle this and I can, I can uh, play as a freshman? Um, did that help maybe a little bit? I mean, yeah, they definitely gave me a lot of confidence going through camp. Um, you know, they'd tell me, uh, you know, that I was doing the right things and uh, just gave me a lot of support. Cody, go ahead. Hey, Zach. So we've all pretty much heard about your wrestling prowess. I was just wondering, are there similarities between wrestling and playing offensive line? I mean, there's definitely uh, similarities, but, uh, you know, just with leverage and, you know, using your hands are definitely important for playing offensive line. Back to Greg. So what's been the hardest part of, of you know, from high school to college? I'm sure it's night and day, but... What's been the hardest thing for you to adapt to? Um, I would say just learning the plays and learning the techniques. I think that was the hardest hardest thing I had to do, and that was really the um, key for me is just understanding the plays and stuff like that. John? Okay, walk me through the first time you're out there and the guy you're supposed to block isn't where he is. And what's going through your mind? How are you uh, processing all that? And what was your response? Uh, I mean, Chase normally, uh, you know, he IDs the front and, you know, tells me where to go. So I don't really have to uh, worry too much about, you know, if they line up differently. We just figure it out um, while we're out there. Carly? Hey, Zach, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Um, nice to see your face. Um, how much different are the guys you're going up against in the Big 12 than the ones you saw, you know, a couple of months ago in Class AA? Uh, definitely a lot different. Um, bigger, stronger, faster, you know, all of the above. Um, they're, uh, it's definitely the game's a lot faster than high school, obviously. And, um, yeah. So. Go ahead, Greg. So not only you're playing young, but now you're playing two positions. Is is it hard going back and forth from guard to center? Um, I I don't feel like it is because I learned center first, and you, when you learn center, you pretty much know what everyone does. So switching to guards not very hard. And when I'm at guard, Chase is making the call, so it's not it's not like a it's not too hard for me. Back over to John. So getting back to what I asked you before, so you've had all clean grades, everything's, you blocked everybody the way you're supposed to, everything's lined up perfectly for you? What What was that? I'm sorry. I said getting back to what I asked you before about Chase helping you uh, with guys when they're not where they're supposed to be or not where you think they're supposed to be. So all clean grades, everything's been all good for you so far? Yeah, there hasn't been anything too hard. Uh, we just figured out on the sideline and, uh, you know, it, uh, or, or we'll go back to uh, the sideline and talk to Coach Moore and show, you know, that this defense has given us a different look than they have on film, and we'll just figure it out on the sideline and switch it on the next drive. Where does this knowledge come from? I know Neil mentioned that you seem to be more advanced than most freshmen. Um, did you study this with your dad? Um, where, where does this come from? Yeah, for sure. I mean, my dad helped me a lot. He, he uh, played college football at Fairmont State, and he's kind of always worked with me. You know, since I was in, you know, Pee Wee football, he taught me, you know, the fundamentals, everything I needed to know. And then just understanding football, he helped me out a lot. Um, you know, with the plays we ran in high school, uh, you know, I feel like I had a lot better understanding than most people because of my dad. 
Mike Kazaza. Zach, last game, the, the Texas interior, really big. Um, I'm guessing the biggest you've seen so far up front. Do you have to have a game like that just to figure out what it's like and then how to deal with just guys who are, you know, six foot four and 350 pounds? Yeah, I mean, they were definitely uh, very tall and, uh, you know, big. Uh, but I don't know. It was, it was, it was definitely different, but, uh, uh, okay, we'll go to Cody. So Zach, I asked Chase this a couple of weeks ago, but, um, for snapping, how do you practice snapping and how much do you have to practice snapping? Uh, yeah, we practice, uh, snapping, uh, before every practice, uh, we probably get like. 30, 40 snaps in before every practice. And then in practice, we'll switch uh, back and forth. Like, I'll go to center some. So, uh, you know, just so I'm getting a little bit of center reps, uh, you know, just in case Chase ever does get hurt, I'm not – I didn't get any reps in practice. So, that's – Joe Picado, go ahead. Hey, Zach, I know the opener – was kind of weird for everybody with no fans in the stands, but you're out there for the first step. Did you have a moment to kind of take it all in? Did you get nervous during that first play, or were you pretty comfortable once the ball was snapped? No, I was comfortable. Um, you know, it was kind of what I worked for, and that's, you know, like my goal and dream. So, you know, I was excited to be out there. Okay, John. Curious. <clears throat> um, you know, they've been running a lot, too your side, the left side, two young guys, you and, and Brandon. First of all, does that give you confidence? And the second thing, can you walk me through that block you got against Baylor to spring Letty to, to score the game-winning touchdown? I mean, yeah, that, that definitely, uh, you know, gives me a lot of confidence when they run the ball to our side. And I think Yates does a great job. Um, he helps me out too. And uh, on that block particularly, uh, the guy that was in front of me crossed my face, so I just kind of drove him inside. Like I kept uh, driving him to a gap, and it kind of widened the hole a little en enough for Letty to get through. I think you're uh, a little more and drove him. I think you took him about four or five yards into the end zone. Yeah, I definitely uh, ran my feet as hard as I could. So. Greg. So talking about uh, Dante and Darius again, what, what were the wars like with them in high school? And, and how much did, you know, just competing with against them give you some confidence that, hey, I can go to the next level if I can play against these guys who are going to the next level? Yeah, I mean, they, uh, I mean, they just gave me a lot of confidence. Uh, you know, I go against them in practice, and, you know, they definitely got me their fair share. I mean, made me look bad a couple times. But, you know, I've got them – you know, a few times, very few times, but, you know, that gives me a little bit of confidence, you know, when we can compete together and, you know, win reps against each other. And I mean, they win way more than I win, but that's one. Last couple. Go ahead, Mike. Zach, can you talk about two guys who probably meant a lot for you as a freshman getting used to things? One, uh, T.O., and then secondly, uh, Mike Joseph, because there's a bit of a family history there too, correct? Yep. Uh, he went to my high school, and uh, my f he's close with my family, uh, my mother, my mother's family. John, just curious, what what's what's in the water down there at Fairmont to get all these high major uh, football players, particularly linemen, the Stills brothers, and you? Uh, what's going on down there? I don't know. We have a we have a great program down there, and. Uh, great coaches, and, you know, they definitely helped all of us. And uh, it's it's really a great program down there. It's fun to play for Coach Bardick and, you know, all of our coaches. So I think we have a, a good system down there in Fairmont. You know, it's, it's not a huge school either, not a big town anymore. Fairmont's a lot smaller than it was. I mean, you're, you're just a double-A school, and you got all these Division One players coming out of there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, I can't really explain it, but it's definitely been a fun – uh, a couple of years, um, you know, a lot of people have came out of there, and uh, it's just been fun playing with everyone, and I'm sure fun to watch too. And finally, Joe Percato. Zach, we talked 
last year about you practicing a lot snaps uh, at center, knowing that you're probably going to get some center reps. But how different is it just snapping on your own and or when you actually get into a game and you know you got a nose lined up against you? Yeah, I, I don't really uh, I don't really think about it too much. I think thinking about snapping the ball probably mess me up. But it's something I just do now. I don't really have to. Um, it's more muscle memory now than it was, you know, a couple months ago uh, when I first started out snapping. So it's definitely a lot more comfortable now.